the most uh, disgusting, demonic religion on the planet Earth. Christians have no type of morality whatsoever. You got a feminine spirit on you, you gotta repent of it. That's living on in there and talking about, yeah, I'ma seek my truth. Hell but your truth. It's only one truth, and that's Jesus Christ. Now, hey, you just gonna walk off with the woman? I'm asking this before you leave. Do you believe that man is the head of woman? You believe that? Well, why you why you follow it up? Why would you? If you don't understand this, then you say, this why we look, this why all the nation rule over us. The black man no, the black man follow the black one. Look at the majority of the black men walking down the street today. Who lead them? The goddamn black one. And this why we at the bottom of society. This why the East Indian don't respect us. This why the Chinese don't respect us. I got sand in my boots and dust in my eyes, but it's okay. As long as they got fear in their eyes and hurt in their soul, then it's okay. And it's okay. Yeah. South Carolina. What? As long as I got sand in my boots and dust in my eyes, then I'm okay. So what color again? So why do they lie to us with this? You see what I'm saying? Because whoever controlled the slave mind controlled the slaves. So they put this in your mind, so now you don't have no self-love for yourself no more. Okay. I'm sick of this, okay. the Jews and Wiganess the They riding their bikes, not riding with guys, I'm tired of this yeah. shit Okay, it's not the best yeah. I mean, seven and three. 
down, back down, me and love following ass. He following a black woman. That's all our people do. Look, let me walk behind this black booty. Yeah, you better speed up and get in front of her so you can so you can make it give the appearance that she following you. Read. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse seven. Three. Three. Well, what have you know? That the head of every man is Christ. It say the head of every man is Christ. Christ is the black man's head, not the black woman. Why are you black men following the black woman up and down the street? The black woman's supposed to be following you. We are. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is a man. But a lot of these modern women today, you don't believe that. That's why we are at the bottom of society. That's why no next to respect us, because the black man won't rise up and take his proper place. The black man won't rise up and set his house in order. But the foremost, give me that in 2nd Andrew chapter 14, verse 13. Yeah, the black man won't rise up and put himself in order. For real, though. That's why when you ride up and down the street, the white police officers are only pulling you over, only giving you tickets, only searching your cars. For real, though. Read. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order. You hear that? God said, set your house in order. It start with you first. You gotta get yourself straight. You sit up here, I'm gonna tell you the problem with black people. Black people sit up here and say, I love God. They sit us up there and say, I know God. But when it comes time to put in any type of work for God, black people don't show up. Just like when the brother read that scripture to uncover your head. You went to arguing about that shit. That brother instantly uncovered his head. Why? Why he uh, Cause he loved the Lord. He heard this what the Bible say. And that's what the Bible say he do it. That's why the Chinese ruling over us. That's why did you our people sit up there and keep talking about now, we, if you want me to speak, I'll speak. Yeah, I'll speak. Speak, speak then. Speak then. No, you ain't holding. No, I was gonna get back home. No, you don't ain't hold me. You can okay. speak in. So let me tell y'all something. So I am a Christian, but just because you tell me to do something, that doesn't mean I got to do it. Now that's the real I'm not telling you get that in first Corinthians out the first give me first time. I'm gonna tell you to uncover your head. Go right back to the first. Do you love God, Christian? Say that. Do you love God, Christian? No, I do believe in God. So everybody listen. This Christian right here said he believes in God. Now, do you love God, Christian? Yes, I do love God. This Christian right here said he loves God. Now, let's see what the Bible says. Read verse 5 to the Father, verse 3. For this is the love of God. But this is the love of God. Now, listen to this. I'm going to show you how Christians are. He said, this is the love of God, Reed. That we keep his commandments. This is the love of God. If you love God, you're going to do what? Honor his commandments. And no, read that again. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. What did the Bible say like that? It says, honor his commandments. It says that we keep, read that again. That's what six, read. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That we keep, that we keep his commandments. His commandments. Christian. I'm going to ask you one more time, Christian, because it says you're a Christian. Oh, it says, but this is the love of God that we do what? Me taking up my durand don't have He's nothing to be with me. All right, now get 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 5 again. Start at verse 3. This is what I'm saying. Christianity is the most uh, disgusting, demonic religion on the planet Earth. Christians have no type of morality whatsoever. They say they, they, claim, they claim to love God. They claim to love Jesus Christ. But these Christians won't do a damn thing that the Bible say. You know what? The majority of these women that's down here dressed and provocative, showing their body out, unmighty, these Christians out here. These ain't Muslims. These ain't Hindus. These ain't Buddhists. These are Christians down here dressed, showing the shape of their body. These are Christians down here showing got their titties all plucked up. These are Christians down here shaking their ass down here on murder feet. Verse Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Christians mad as hell too. These Christians is mad as hell. They know they 
sit up there and say they love God and say they love Jesus, right. but they provocatively dress provocative as hell. Right. Right. For real though, no. Christianity is, it has no morality whatsoever. It's the most disgusting yes. religion on the planet. Yes. You can be a homosexual and be a Christian. Right. You can be a dyke and be a Christian. Yes. You can be a man taking ride up your behind and be a Christian. Yes. You can be a time and that's to be a Christian. A you can be a what? A, a whole tranny and be a Christian. Read what you got. First Corinthians, you don't see no Muslims walking around talking about I'm a tranny. Oh. You don't see no Muslims walking around. No Hindus, no Buddhists, no God, no other religion doing that. Only Christians. Verse Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 5. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying, read. Having his head covered. And this ain't even about the head being covered. It's about your rebelliousness right now. Right. Read on. Dishonoring his head. They say dishonoring his head. Who is the head of man? Who is the head of man? What's your name again? R.G. Blue. Okay, Roderick R.G. Blue. All right, Roderick. Who is the head of man? Hold on, I want everybody to hear this Christian up here. Listen to the Christian, y'all. <laughs> is man. Who is the head of man? God. Read that again. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Do you believe the Bible, Roderick? No, all of it. Wow. How? Hold on, bro. How? Now, what? That's a real Christian. Get the Christian right here. That's a real Christian. Get the goddamn Christian right here. A Christian that don't believe the Bible. Okay, what part of the Bible you believe? If, if you want me to talk, let me talk. I'll don't talk. no, just don't just don't try to cut me off because I'll give you the whole story. Don't come up here try to come for me and other Christians because you all know their story. You want to say that that Christians homosexuals and dykes and all this and that they don't have nothing to do with the Muslims. It do got no. It do got a lot to do with it. Let me tell you what Christ said about homosexuality. I got every goddamn thing to do with it. You come as you are, and you will be accepted as a homosexual. Yeah. You, will be, you will be accepted as a transgender. Yeah. If I was to sit up here and say, Look, if I was to go to the white man tomorrow and say, I'm changing my race, I identify as a white female. If I say I identify as a white female, would the white man sit up there and say, Yeah, you know, I'm gonna let you identify as a white female, a white woman? Would I be treated like a white woman? Nah, would I be treated like a white woman? Would I be treated like a white woman in this society, bro? Would I be treated? Hell no, Roger. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. This is all you so called devout Christians. All you so called Holy Ghost filled Christians out here today. Read. No, ye not. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible say all sin is unrighteousness. Right. If you break in God's commandments, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Be oh, 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 not deceived. Neither fornicate. Not for a homosexual is a fornicator. Right. Right. A lesbian is a fornicator. Right. That will not enter the kingdom of God. Read. Right. No idolatry. What is an idolatry? Christmas is idolatry. Right. Easter is idolatry. Right. Right. I'm asking you something. You keep the pants on. Yes, do I keep the pass over? Yes, sir, I do. Do you? Okay, I'm at this song. Tell me what uh, what we're supposed to do. How do you keep the pass over? Tell us how do we keep that tradition. Well, you tell me first and I'll ah. He don't keep the pass. Ah. See, another thing, another thing that I want everybody to hear out here, I'm going to try to understand, Christians are liars, too. Ah. Christians are liars. He don't even know how to keep the pass over. Ah. He don't know what the pass over is. Read on. Not a fornicator. Not a fornicator ain't going to enter the kingdom of God. Read. No, I don't. Idolatry won't enter the kingdom of God. If you got them crosses that you're wearing on your neck, right. talking about, yeah, I'm wearing this for protection, that stuff, they ain't gonna protect. You know how many game makers and got killed with them crosses on their neck? Yeah. 
You know how many rappers have been murdered with G's of peace and crosses on their neck? They ain't nothing to protect you from that, we all. That is idolatry. We, no adulterers. No adult. What is adult? You're sneaking link now. If you got a sneaking link, that, that's adultery. You ain't getting the kingdom of God. If you're sleeping with another woman's husband, you ain't getting the kingdom of God. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? Your back, back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Right. If you sleeping with another man's wife, you ain't getting the kingdom of God. Right. And guess what? A Christian think they're going to get it, don't they? A Christian think they're going to get the kingdom of God, don't they? Um, only God can determine that. I told you, the, the Bible, God is saying right now. It is saying right now in the Bible. It's like, what we there, brother Tyree? No, you not. The born righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Now, we all sin. But you said you hate what God hate. Okay. Now, God said that's abomination and he hate all abomination. Okay. Okay, now, you don't see it? We all fall short. But look, this is what I'm saying. Listen to me. Listen to me. We all fall, look, we all gonna sin. But look, God said don't eat that, I ain't gonna eat that. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? When God say don't do something, I ain't gonna do it. Right. We all sin willingly and unwillingly. But the thing is, is when you keep doing it, you stay in it. You right. supposed to be fighting sin. Right. So let's do this, is you fight eating that pork, cause I stopped eating pork. How many of y'all eat pork out here? No, sir. Who eating the pork? So how many of y'all have ate pork at one point of time? All of us have. We all ain't sure. But see, that's what I'm saying. We all have sinned and we all are sinners. Christ the one going to cleanse us of all of that when he come back. But you know what grace is? What is the spirit of grace? Get that in Titus. Grace is a certain period of time that Christ administered to us to get ourselves together, to repent from certain things that God hate before he returns. You got to stop eating that pork before God returns. You understand? I understand that. I hear you. So what you're saying is something that I know that ain't right, I'm still doing. Now, we seeing, uh, like when you overeat. Right. No, you're right about that. We get on it. Hey, wait, where you at? Come here, Captain Shell. Come here. I'm saying, like, we sit down at the service and sit at that table and know that last bite shouldn't be that last bite because the temple we we you know we we steady eating and 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 and, and we swelling up knowing that hey this should be clean we eat too much right. but that's a sin yeah and what that's called gluttony do not we teach the men against that yeah, we teach I, the men to be healthy brother this brother right here this look listen just him himself has sat up there a, a lot of these men out here a bunch of them was overweight 
He put, look, we gotta lose the weight too. And even me, I gotta drop some of the fat. This, so this what I'm saying right here. You gotta change. Right. If you if you say you're a Christian and you love God and you hate what he hate, you gotta change. Now I'm gonna ask you something, one other thing. This your wife? You know God don't like interracial marriage, right? Say that again. If I steal from you right now, is that good with Christ? No. Okay, then. Is that good with you? No. Hey, then. You don't want me stealing from you. So, why, uh, but, but what if I sit up there and tell you, well, bro, I can take what you got. I can steal your wallet out of your pocket because Christ done away with the law. How would you feel? What would you think? Well, I'm broke, so you ain't going to be stealing no money from me. Everybody said you would be practicing, but answer the question. Like I said, I just have Alright, come here. Come here. Come on, Coach. What's your name, bro? Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Bean. Uh, Bean. Bean. Bean, I'm asking you something. You had a, you had a uh, long gold chain on your neck. Fit it down. If I steal it from you, what you gonna do? I can get another one. Well, get another. But I'm asking you this. All right. Do you believe in God? Believe in the Bible. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not steal." Do y'all think we can steal? No. You don't think we can steal, right? But you say what? People steal, but it's wrong. Right. Now, do you think the laws of God done away with? Yes or no? Uh huh. See, now you got to think. All right, answer wise. Come close. All right, do you think the laws of God? Come over this way. Do you think the laws of God done away with? What's your name? Z. Z. All right, man. Look, we got a guy named Uncle Z down here right now. All right, Z. What you think? I wouldn't believe that the ways of God are done away with. I would believe that the majority of people are only just blinded by their own ignorance. People believe in God, but they're just believing in some of what they own doing. See, we have Catholic, we have other types of religions. Well, hey, I like the way you answer that. You answer that real good. Because this brother right here, though, he just said I can smack him across his head and take all his money. And he said he ain't gonna care because Christ done away with the law and I'll just be practicing anyway. But listen to this. Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. When I bear the record that they have a zeal of God, oh, our people, they got a zeal of God. Our people, they say they love Christ. They ain't some of the most devout Christians. You see the Christian down there with her ass out. You know that ain't no Hindu, right? 
You know that ain't no Muslim, right? You, right? You know that ain't no, we know these are Christians. It's all, but look, and she'll argue you up and down how much you love God. The scripture sit up there and say, they got a zeal of God, read. But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. What is the knowledge? Get that in Malachi, chapter 3. I'm going to show you what the knowledge is that our people don't got. The, I mean, they got a zeal of God. They say they love Christ. And we know we the people of God. Our people, one thing I can't say about black people, you the most forgiving people on the planet Earth. Right. For real, though. The white man can do any damn thing for you. I mean, anything to you today, and you will forgive his whole race for it tomorrow. But you can't do nothing to them, and they ain't forgiving you for it. It is what it is. Just like with slavery. They enslaved the whole nation of people. They took all the resources and heaped, heaped them to themselves. They took all the best places on this, uh, in America and heaped, heaped it to themselves. And guess what they left you with? Scrubs and scraps. They tell you, well, look, man, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You don't even got no boots in the first place. You, they ain't give you no boots to put on. Read. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest lips. For the priest lips. The pre we supposed to be the priests of God. Right. We supposed to be the rulers of this earth. Read. Right? Right. Should keep knowledge. They should keep knowledge. That's the laws of God right there. Right. That's the knowledge that our people lack. Right. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So the knowledge of God is the law. That's what our people, that's the knowledge that we're supposed to have, the law. Right. You're right, our people is ignorant to the laws of God. But when we start to teach our people the laws of God, just like a simple law, do them in 22 and 5. If I sit up here and ask one of these sisters right now what they mean, what is the, uh, uh, what is the pearl that women wear that pertains to a man, these women will come up with every answer on the goddamn planet Earth on uh, why not to answer this and what the pearl is. They'll make up all types of stuff. I'm going to prove it to you. Wait till I catch one of the sisters walking past. Listen to this, read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Is that for he is a messenger of the, we're supposed to be the messengers of God. That's we're supposed right. to be spreading his message out through, throughout the earth. Right. Because look, the, the, this right here, this Christianity is white supremacy. This was given to us. They can't take you in the Bible and show you no scripture where Jesus Christ is described like this. But we literally can take you throughout the scriptures and show you that Jesus Christ looks just like you. Right. Look at the immature campaign they pushing on, pushing on Facebook. They got a damn white image of Jesus. They got goddamn post coming up. Every post. They got him in the army. They got him on the Chinese airplane. They got him at the food bank. They got all these AI images of a, uh, of a man that looked like this, which is not Jesus the Christ. That man's name is Sandra Bonjour. And our people are in the midst of idolatry. It's time for our people to wake up, repent, and sit up there and take back what God got in store for them. But we're going to come back to righteousness. That's the only way we're going to get it, read. Verse 8, but ye are departed out of the way. We departed out of the way of the laws of God. Like this brother, he been up here rebellious as hell. He won't answer no. He say he a Christian. He won't answer no question truthfully and faithfully. The Bible say don't do something. If God say don't do something, don't do something, do we do it? Now, we, we, even if you mess up and do it, then what you supposed to do? Let's just say the Bible sit up there and tell you don't do something, Zeke. And you do it. What should you do after that? You should repent. Thank you. That's what praise is for. Because you're going to fall and you're going to make mistakes. That's how I know the spirit of God is in you. I don't know what the hell is in this brother right here right now. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 2. What is the truth? What is the truth? Ah, uh, truth. My, oh. See, that, that's a woman talking. You oh, only hear women on the internet talking about my truth. Oh. Do you hear men on the internet talking about that? You, I know y'all be on Instagram, Facebook, and stuff, real. right? Real. How many times have you heard a man say, let me tell my truth? That's my truth. You only hear who's saying that. Tell the truth. Man, tell him because he might be in the oblivion right now. Tell him on, on the internet who you hear about talking about they want to speak their truth. The reason why you won't give me that microphone because you don't want me to. I'm gonna give you the mic. I'm gonna give you the microphone. No, nah, y'all leave him alone. He's straight. No, I'm good. I'm good. I love my friends. Hey, hey, hey.
the only person we hear on the internet saying that is my truth is with him. Right. Uh, it well, ain't right. the disrespect of his brother, this granny. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You got a spirit and spirit on you. You got to repent of it. There's women on the internet talking about, yeah, I'm going to speak my truth. Man, what the hell with your truth? There's only one right. truth, and that's Jesus Christ. God is true. Read what you got. Deuteronomy to the 28, verse 32. This is why we went into slavery, because we departed out of the way. We departed out of the knowledge and the laws of God. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters. Moses told the Israelites, if we break the commandments of God, he said, your sons and your daughters, read, shall be given. He said, they're going to be given. They're going to be given to who? Unto another people. He said, they're going to be given. Who, what other people were thou sons and daughters given to? And what time period did they happen? God said, if we break the commandments, his commandments, our sons and daughters are going to be taken from us and given to another people. When did that happen, bro? No, no, no. In slavery. Right. In slavery. Right. Our sons and daughters was taken from us and given to another people. Read. And thy eyes shall look and bear with longing for them all the day long. Joshua 6. Get out. Joshua 6. Get out. Get out. Get out. Need a white, need a long. Need a white, need a long. Get out. Get out. Need a out. Need a white woman alone. Need a white woman alone. You know he trying to get some money. Everybody on PlayStation, PlayStation 6. Read what you got. Who the next teacher, man? Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So because our people departed out the way and got the spirit like what you got, our sons and daughters were given to another race of people. What race of people our sons and daughters were given to? The white man. Right. You believe that? You believe he's free? You just said you don't got no money in your pocket. I'm asking you something. Why you don't got no money in your pocket? Why you don't got no money in your pocket? Tell everybody. Because I ain't none of your business what money I got in my pocket. But you free, though. I'm free. You free? You ain't free. No, you ain't. You, you ain't free. I'm going to tell you this. Jump in the street. Nah, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> you ain't free. If you was free, you'll be able to do whatever you want to do. They got laws set up. The white man just gave us 10 pages full of his laws that he said, look, we know you Negroes keep the commandments of God, but let me show you the white man's law. I know, I ain't lying, I put the bus at. What is the bus so I can show you the sheet the white man just gave us? He sat up there and said, look, we don't want y'all standing in the, uh, what you call, we don't want y'all this, we don't want y'all that. I'm telling you, so you ain't free, bro. You can't do whatever the hell you want to do in this country. You can't live wherever you want to live in this country. Go live in the holiday. Take that. If you're free, go take holiday here in Independence. Go take that right now. If you free, just go jump on that ride and go around it. If you free, you free. When you free, that means you can do whatever the hell you want to do. If you free, walk in the grocery store and grab you some snacks and walk out. You free. Hey, look, man, I got a message for the black woman with the blonde hair. The black woman with the blonde hair, I got a message with for you. Bring it out. Hello. <laughs> Are you going to let me talk? <laughs> Black woman with the black hair, do you hear him? Listen, listen to a child ask you, black woman. Hey, do you call Hey, do you call Hey, do you think you Caucasian? Do you think you Caucasian with the blood hair in your head? Tell my sister wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. God gave you really hair. What do you have? You need to accept yourself. Accept your skin color. Accept your texture of your heart. I want you to wake up and repent. This is an opportunity for us of melanated people to come together because they do have a Harley week and then they want to call this Black Bike Week. I didn't know that, but no, I don't figure this is for us. Racism is still here. Racism is still here. It wouldn't be a Harley week and a Black Bike week if it wasn't. See what I'm saying? Man, we at Murder Beast for the Black Beach Bike of Weekend, whatever it's called, man. The prophets are here to wake our people up, man. A lot of people, man, it's time to repent and come out this foolishness, man. You got this place swarming with our people. 
you would, you would think we're gathering together with something good, but it's not. It's filth out here. You even got brothers walking around with their wives half naked. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's a better example. This image messed us up. Right. And that's why we are here to show us you what the real image is. We are the children that the most I see. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 